On this video, we'll show you how to add your USD259 district email account to your Android phone. Just a few things to keep in mind before we begin. First, you absolutely can do this from home. You don't need to be in a district building to follow these steps. Also, there are two options for adding your district email account on an Android device. We'll cover both, using the built-in email app on your phone and using the Outlook app that you can download from the Google Play Store. If you currently have USD259 email set up on your phone, it is important that you delete that account and add it back in for the changes to take effect. This will be the first step we cover in this video. So first, let's go through the steps using the built-in email app. If you run into any problems during the setup, you can skip forward to try the Outlook app from the Google Play Store. I do currently have USD259 email set up on my phone, so let's go in and remove that account. Go into the settings here. And here's my USD259 district email, so I'll select it on top. Make sure you select the correct one if you've got any personal email. Make sure that you select your district USD259 email to remove. We'll just select remove here. Confirm remove. And we're ready uh, to set it back up again. Now here we'll select Office 365. Now on this screen, you'll enter your full USD259 email account, including the at USD259.net. Otherwise, if you just enter your username, it won't work for you. So we'll enter our email address. And select next. Here, we'll enter our password, and when ready, we'll select sign in. Here, we'll select apply. We're making sure here our contacts are synced, our calendars are synced, our tasks are synced, and done. Activate. And here we have the option of naming this account. Uh, usually by default, it'll be your USD259 email address. Um, you can change it to just USD259 email, just something that you can use to differentiate between any personal email accounts that you may already have on your device. Select done when ready. And that's it. Now you have your email on your phone and ready to go. If you by chance ran into some problems using the built-in app or you'd prefer using the Outlook app, go ahead and download Outlook from the Google Play Store. As you can see, I've already got mine installed and ready to go. But remember, if you've got any current USD259 district emails on your phone, it's always a good idea to go ahead and go in and remove them. We'll go back into our main screen and select the Outlook app. Now here the process is very similar. We'll select get started. Here we will enter our whole email address. Again, don't forget the at usd259.net. Don't, you, don't just enter your username, otherwise it's not gonna work for you. And just select continue when you're ready. On this next page, we'll enter our password. And again, select sign in when ready. Here we'll have the option to select another account or add a personal account if you'd like. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and just skip through that. You'll get a preview of what your inbox is going to look like. You can go ahead and uh, look through it. And now all your emails are ready to go. Along the bottom, you'll also find your calendar if you need to look at that as well. And it's all in one built-in application for you, and it's ready for use. Thank you.